You might have heard a word Zen. It's kind of a trendy Japanese word. You can imagine things out of this world, like meditation, Buddhism, and etc. The concept of Zen influences not only Japanese culture, but all over the world in many fields. Today, I'll talk about how we can apply the concept of Zen to improve your photography. Zen is an abbreviation of Zenna, which is a transliteration of the Sanskrit word that means to unify the mind and pursue the truth, and refers to Zen Buddhism that practices the Zen. Zen Buddhism is obviously a part of Buddhism. The founder of Zen Buddhism is Dharma, who was 28th apprentice of Buddha. He is an Indian and went to China in the 6th century. He just focused on the concept of Zen, not the rest of Buddhism thought. He considered Zen was the most important part of Buddhism. That's how he created Zen Buddhism. He analyzed how Buddha achieved enlightenment. Buddha had been meditating and asking himself, Who am I? Why does suffering exist? Then after all, he reached there. His state of enlightenment is called Zenjo. Zen is from Zen meditation. Jo means stabilize. Then it means stabilize your mind by Zen meditation. That's how he reached the condition of enlightenment. And that's how Dharma realized the importance of Zen meditation and wandering to yourself. Pursuing the truth by seeing yourself rather than things around you. That's the method he considered very important in Buddhism and emphasized that. He left four expressions to practice Zen. Furyumonji, Jikshi Jinshin, Kyoge Betsden, Kensho Jobs. Furyumonji means things can't be explained by words. You gotta experience them. Jikshi Jinshin, touch your heart directly with your own finger. Kyoge Betsden, thoughts cannot be told by books. Kensho Jobs, look your true character, then you can be Buddha. By these four expressions, he might have wanted to say that not by words, but you just have to look yourself. Then you can find the truth inside yourself. Buddhism was born in India, then Dharma focused on Zen meditation, and then Buddhism was born in China, but it declined gradually in China. On the other hand, Japanese Buddhists Eisai and Dogen who studied Zen in China brought it to Japan in the 13th century, and it developed uniquely there. In a more much era, Zen was easily accepted by the shogunate because it's atheistic unlike other religions or other schools in Buddhism. It was a turbulent era of samurai. They were dealing with their lives, always in a dead or alive situation. Not born with power, but rose up by themselves with their arms, skills, and intelligence. So they were a bit practical and it was harder for them to believe in gods. But Zen didn't interfere with those who were rising up because it's very stoic, practical, and introspective. In a Tokugawa shogunate, Zen was used to try and summarize mentality by Tokugawa Ies, who is the inspiration of Yoshi Toranaga, who is the protagonist of Shogun. In history, there are always conflicts between the governments and religious powers. But then, it's very personal and all about focus on yourself, so there are less chances to give opportunities to unite and fight the government. It's easier for him to accept Zen as a method to train samurais. Zen has been developed in Japan. The concept of focusing on the essence influenced Japanese traditional art forms, such as paintings, calligraphy, tea party, and gardening. The garden creation, which attempts to recreate a place for introspection and the pursuit of mental stability in an abstract expression that combines stones, sand, water, and plants, has become a type of garden culture that lives on in Japan. When you 
think about Zen photography, you might imagine very abstract nature photography. But in my opinion, it's not necessarily like that. Focusing on the physical outcome is not something to do with Zen, even though you take Zen niche photography. Zen is the act of knowing yourself through meditation without words. So I'd rather focus on the process here. Photography or any art, what's important is to know what you wanna express, what story you wanna tell. But it's not easy to know that. At first, it's very vague and blurred. As you take many photos, you gradually get to know what you like, what you want, what makes you satisfied. This process is very meditative, which means then you just focus on yourself, talk with yourself. You like this, what about this composition, what about this subject, what about this lighting? This process represents four expressions I said Furyu Monji, Jikishi Jinshin, Kyoge Betsuzen, Kensho Jobuts. Wondering yourself and touching your heart without words or textbook, but through meditative act. Photography is repetition of this act, no matter where you do, what you take, to whom you do. In Zen Buddhism, there is a word mukudoku. Mu means nothing, kudoku means merit, so it means no merit. It's a word from Dharma. When he talked about Buddhism with the Chinese emperor, he was asked, What merit can I get by practicing Buddhism? Then he answered, There is no merit. Practicing Buddhism is not to get a merit, but the process of practicing is already a merit. If you take photos or do any art, you wouldn't get the result you hoped for most of the time. If you submit it to an award, you wouldn't get it. If you post it on Instagram, you wouldn't get enough likes. If you show it to someone, you wouldn't get a reaction you expected. What we can take from Zen Buddhism is just focus on what you can control. If you get any outcomes you hoped for, it will be just lucky. Appreciate the process of making photos because it gives you an opportunity to talk with yourself. Ask yourself who you are, no matter how other people react to your work. That's the merit of photography. And when you look back at the photos you took, you can see the reflection of yourself. Because what you took through this meditative approach, say about yourself loudly, more than anything or anyone. Of course you have a time that you have to pass your certain outcome, especially when you are with a client. But putting a Zen mind at the corner of your head might help you to make yourself and your client happy. Today we are forced to participate in many competitions, intentionally or unintentionally. And we can lose our original motivation easily. But having a Zen mind can help you to think about your original purpose and joy of things you like. What I said could be different from what you imagine when you see the title of this video. There are many aspects to see in any religion or philosophy. So I'd be glad if I could give you an opportunity to make you curious about our culture and find your angle to dig deeper.